Okay, what do we have, Spirit for Leos? We got the Magician, first card. We have the Empress, second card. And then we have the Ace of Swords, third card. So, Leo, there is somebody who could be um, taking action towards you, Leo. This is somebody that you... Um, I, I'm hearing that some of you guys haven't spoke to this person or heard from this person in a very long time, but um, I am seeing this energy where this could be somebody that may have sacri made a sacrifice in regards of like leaving you, walking away from you and stuff like that. But just know that somebody is manifesting you back, Leo. Whoever this is, this could be somebody that you have a child with, don't have to be. If not, they could look at you as somebody who is very beautiful, who is very abundant, man or woman, you know, very attractive. But they look at you as somebody that they actually can grow with, Leo, whoever this is. But just know that this person's mind is made up in regards of you because we got the Ace of Swords right here. Somebody has already made a decision to manifest you back. Some of you guys, as we speak now, this person manifesting you back. But let's keep it moving. Clarify the Magician, the Empress, and the Ace of Swords, please. Ten of Wands reversed. We got the Ten of Swords reversed. And we got the Fool. So it's telling me that whoever this is, this is somebody that wants to take the load off of your back, Leo. Like, literally. Maybe this is somebody that finds you as someone that could be like I said maybe you already a single parent you know whether this is a new love or old love but I am getting this energy where somebody is taking action to make things a lot more easier whatever it was that was happening you know between y'all they want to clear it up like I'm just getting this energy where somebody want to make something clear um Leo far as any baggage some of you guys person has let go of some baggage that they had um leo and now they feel a lot more stress-free that's the energy that i'm picking up on somebody feel a lot like things are a lot more easier not only within them but they also want to make something a lot more easier for you and um i just feel like they want to nurture you leo but some of you guys still could be in some form of betrayal maybe you feel like this is somebody that has betrayed you more than one time and I just feel like somebody could just still be pretty much in a lot of pain. And I feel like it's you, Leo. You could still be in a lot of pain over what somebody did. But I feel like it will eventually um, come to an end in regards of you thinking about what somebody did. But the truth is that somebody feels foolish, whoever this is, because we got the fool card right here. So somebody feels foolish because... Even if they were in another connection or they have just left you, they feel stupid for leaving you, Leo. But we're going to dive deeper on why, on what's, what happened, what's going on. That's what we need to know. So at this point, your person is taking action towards you, Leo. They are manifesting you behind the scenes because, you know, I just feel like this is somebody that wants to live a, um i'm hearing a stress-free life like they want to make your life and their life a lot more easier leo and bring whatever betrayal that has happened between y'all to an end you know and they want to take that chance with you they want a new beginning with you we got the eight of cups wow so leo this is somebody you probably fell out of love with a long time ago maybe you've been fell out of love with this person it could be a gemini i'm seeing libra taurus aquarius or maybe even aries don't have to be but i am getting this energy where this is somebody you have already physically walked away from and you have already like emotionally checked out, Leo. Wow, we got the magician again. So some of y'all could have double Gemini in your astrology chart. 
But some of y'all feel like y'all have to walk away from this person because you look at them as very manipulative. Maybe you feel like this person is trying to, like, run game on you, like, trying to finesse you or something like that. Even though you do enjoy this person's, you know, I'm hearing time because I feel like there's still a bond there between y'all. I'm getting this energy of a friendship bond, you know, but it is telling me that um, your person, like I said, y'all look at this person as somebody that you do have some form of, you know, good times with, like, you can enjoy their company, but some of y'all feel like, as far as, like, falling in love with this person, you cannot fall in love with them, you feel like this person will try to, like, you know, manipulate you, or go back to their old ways, some of y'all feel that way, some of y'all, yes, this person is, like, taking action upon you, or whatever, but some of y'all feel like this person still haven't let go of some baggage, maybe you feel like they're still holding on to some form of toxic, you know, toxic ways within them, Leo, and that could be the reason why you have emotionally checked checked out and physically walked away but it is telling me that your person wants to come in and make your life easier leo they really do they want to make things easier they don't want to be difficult for you leo you know because like i said whoever this is this is somebody that have been foolish enough to get back with another with a baby mom so some of you guys your person was looking back that's what happened you could be the child's mother or child's father in this situation also or you could just be maybe you are the only one but it is telling me that your person may have took a risk elsewhere leo but when it was in that situation with another person i just felt like your person started to miss you because the six of cups could also mean somebody is in some form of nostalgia like somebody is missing the other person they miss the good times that they have shared with the other individuals so that's exactly what i'm seeing somebody was looking back leo and it's your person they were looking back because they have gained to very much miss you you know despite the you know the betrayal this person hit may have put on you before right i just felt like this person does miss you. They do miss y'all bond, Leo. But this is definitely somebody that you don't love no more. But let's keep it moving. Some of you guys, this is somebody that definitely wants to get back in their kid's life. Especially if this is somebody you got a kid with or kids with. Because we do have the empress. That could be a mother or father figure, right? Somebody that, that has children. Um, six of Cups can also mean kids. It can be siblings. It can mean, you know, yeah, stuff like that. But let's let's dive deeper and see what else. Because I've got a feeling, Leo, a lot of y'all fell in love with this person. The ones I'm talking about may have already walked away emotionally, you know, and um, you started to manifest something new. Look, Four of Pentacles. So some of you guys, this person is going to want to hold on. Then I say this person wants to hold on and be there for you. They want to take care of you, Leo. Four of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. This is somebody that probably got a really nice job. We got the Knight of Cups right here. So it's telling me that your person is walking away from a, a person that they was living with. Didn't I already say that? I already had a feeling. I didn't even see it, but I felt it. Your person is walking away to somebody that they was already holding on to, Leo. Literally. And they are manifesting something back to, you know, to hold some form of accountability and make it right with you. We got the magician and then we got the king of pentacles right here. Somebody is, is doing whatever they got to do in order to, you know, show, prove to you that they are somebody that is solid. So I just felt like they're going to want to apologize to you about something, Leo, and express how they really feel. Like I said, some of y'all, this is somebody that left you for somebody else and they realize that they are missing you. Because, like I said, even if y'all not in love, you know, your person do miss the bond, at least. You see what I'm saying? I just feel like the bond is still there. Like, the friendship, y'all still have that. You know, it never left. And it, it, they just feel foolish for, you know, giving somebody else a, a, a chance, Leo. But in reality, they really do got feelings for you, for real. You know, but let's dive deeper and see what else. I've been picking up a lot of energy with some of my Leos have definitely, um, I'm hearing you left some form of impression to the point where somebody cannot like let go of you. Even if you, they don't love you and even if you don't love them, I just felt like they still could be one to hold on to you because of your energy. I'm hearing some of y'all have good energy, you know, where I'm just getting this impression, this imprint, like 
it, it's the bond. It's the bond. It's something about the bond, y'all. I knew it. I was getting that energy. We got intimacy. It's something about being around you that somebody loves to hold on to you about. Even if you don't want to be with them, Leo, they, you make this person feel very safe and secure. You, you really do. Whoever this is, Leo, you know, they just like being, they like being around you. It ain't even, they don't have to be that they want to be with you. Because some of y'all, they do. The rest of you guys, they just like being around you. But it is telling me that most of y'all, this person do want to hold on to you. Some of y'all, this person actually do, you know, envision y'all being in a relationship together. And they are willing to, like, you know, stand up and be a man. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Because like I said from the beginning, they want to make things easier for you, especially if they let you and you still a single mom. Your person wants to let you want you to let go um, of anything that has been very difficult to you know of you know for you in your life by yourself. If I can get it out, but that's the energy that I'm picking up on, where somebody wants to come in and take control of the household. You know what I'm saying? And not to be in a, like a negative way, but like to pay all the bills, to help you take care of the kids, and so on. You know what I'm saying? But this is somebody that cannot just get enough of your of your love of your um, I'm hearing your heart, your kindness. It's something about you, like being around you, Leo. They miss the intimacy. Put it like that. They miss, and the intimacy don't have to be sexual, because I'm not picking that up. I feel like the intimacy is just being around you, your charm, your conversations. You know what I'm saying? The conversations y'all have. It's a bond. That's exactly what I'm picking up on. We got feminine energy again. So, so this could be somebody. That has two baby moms. Like I said, maybe they left you for one baby mom, and you could be the other baby mom that they have, le you know, left alone. But now they are coming back. You see what I'm saying? But just know they want to take care of you, Leo. They miss being around you. They want to take care of you. Some of you guys, a person wants to literally hold accountability and take care of their kid. Then I say that. That's the same energy coming out. Like somebody is ready to step up and be a man. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like they owe you some form of apology or, you know, expression of love or maybe even both, Leo. But I like this energy. I feel like somebody is really to, you know, step up and, you know, and do their part, you know. So let's keep it moving. Wow. Because they was feeling the loss of you. Didn't I say somebody, you have left some form of imprint. I'm hearing imprint or impression on this person where even if you don't love them, Leo, they still want you in their life. You see what I'm saying? And they feel lost. Some of you guys, this person does feel lost without you in a way. They do, whoever this is. Whatever they got to say, I just felt like some of y'all may not want to take them back. Some of you guys. Some of you guys may not want to take this person back because maybe they, you ended up in a very much, you know, a deep depression. But it's telling me that your person was depressed in another connection with somebody else. Your person was depressed. And it could have that person pregnant. Like I say, it don't have to be. It could just be somebody that they already have kids that's, you know, with them, living kids, you know, with them. But I got a feeling this is somebody that had a bit. It's, it's like a battle between two people. You know what I'm saying? One could be the baby mom and the other may, the other one may not be. The, or it could be two baby moms or two baby dads. It, it's something like that, baby mom, baby dad energy. Some of y'all got this person blocked right now. Y'all got this person blocked. It is telling me. You know what's funny? Because this energy is resonating with me. <laughs> I know I blocked my Gemini baby dad. <laughs> but we do have a tight bond. That's the crazy part about it. But we're going to see. But it is telling me that some of you guys, this definitely could resonate with you as far as this person wanting to be with you and nurture you and take care of you, Leo. But I feel like some of y'all have gave up. Because like I said, y'all put y'all blocked this person. Some of y'all blocked this person. Clear intuitive messages, please. Some of y'all most definitely blocked this person. I should have picked the kicker cards up. Some, I don't know. Some of y'all, this person feel like you gave up on them, and I feel like y'all did. Some of y'all, they desire you. Some This person desires you so much. They just miss being around you, Leo. They miss you. They miss your energy. Some of you guys, I ain't gonna lie. Some of you guys, this person literally want to sleep with you. Like, literally. But unfortunately, <laughs> some of y'all, wow. Some of you guys feel like y'all don't belong to this person. 
but I feel like this has to do with the person that they are currently in a relationship with. They don't belong to them. And it's sad to say, but this is their other baby mom or other baby dad. They don't belong with them. If anything, they're holding your person back from being with you. You see what I'm saying? It's like some of y'all, this person wants to come in. It's like they're taking care of the other baby mom or the other woman, right? Or the other man. But they ain't supposed to be here. They're not. Your person knows that they're supposed to be with you. Your person strongly believes that y'all belong together, Leo. Literally. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus. Some of y'all could be, like I said, a Taurus, a Aries, Aquarius, a Libra, a, um, a Gemini. Yep. I am getting that energy. Somebody is holding them back from being with you, Leo. So some of you guys are telling me that this person haven't actually physically made a move yet. But they do desire to be next to you. They desire you. Some of y'all could just be pretty much committed to yourself. Maybe you have, like I said, a lot of y'all have pretty much gave up on this person. You know, and you could just be, you know, committed to yourself. But let's keep it moving. I'm telling y'all, y'all have not left this person's mind at all. They fantasize about you, literally. But somebody is getting ready to come out. Of, I'm here, so there's some truth that is getting ready to come to the light that they was keeping to themselves. Some of you guys could be telling me your person is, is thinking about, um, like I said, walking away from the other individual. Let's dive deeper. Because I got a feeling that your person just feels they know that you are the one. Even if you are their ex, Leo, this is somebody that knows that you are the one. They want to make your life easier, whoever this is. They want to make your life easier. They want to make it easier for you, for the kids, if y'all got kids together. If not, they just want to take care of you. They want to be there for you. They want to step up and be the man that you 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 want. You know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all, maybe y'all had a conversation with this person about this person growing and needing to get themselves together and, you know, grow up. And, you know, because a lot of y'all know this person is, they, I'm here, they're good for playing games. You see what I'm saying? This is somebody that a lot of y'all know that, you, you know, you can't take them serious. I just I just feel that way. Even if you believe that this person belongs to you, you just feel like you cannot take them serious. You see what I'm saying? And that's what it is. That's what it, it really is in, in your heart, in your mind. You just can't take them serious. But you could be the one that is a serious individual. You could be the one that have outgrown this individual. But that your person does desire to be a better man or a better woman for you. I'm telling you. Some of you guys, wow, your person may have been going through some bad karma with that other person. Some of you guys, that was a karmic. So it's telling me for real, for real, I'm not picking up bad karma. I feel like your person picked that karmic. That is a karmic person. Their other baby mom, that is a karmic. If you are the another baby mom, you the person that they're supposed to be with. I knew it. You're supposed to be with them, Leo. Literally. You don't want to act more mature than the other person that they was dealing with. I'm getting that energy. But they do want to step up, Leo. Because you are the more mature one. You are the one that they, I'm telling you, they chose a karmic over you and they know, now they know that y'all belong together. But you gave up. It's telling me that, that somebody gave up on the other person. Look, I told you. Y'all got a deep bond with this person. Literally. This person truly believes that y'all, you are their soulmate, Leo. It's sad to say that it really took your own baby mom or baby dad, or it could, like I said, you the other woman. Maybe you don't have kids with this person. It's for them to realize that you are their soulmate. I don't know why, but this higher fitness stands out so much to me where your person truly believe in their heart that you are their other half. Like, literally. And they got some decisions to make. They got some decisions to make. Because like I said, your person still probably haven't came forward. Even if they did come forward at one point in time, some of y'all have gave up on them. And then we received the block. So some of y'all have gave up and blocked them and started to commit to yourself. You know what I'm saying? And love yourself. That's exactly what I'm seeing. But just know that your person, they going to come back, Leo. They going to drop that other person because they toxic. I knew it. The karmic that they are in a connection with is toxic. It's a karmic for a reason. 
They're toxic. That's why they're going to end it and come back and make it up to you. So some of you guys, your person could be married to a karmic. Some of you guys, they're married to a karmic. And maybe they could be literally ending that situation and getting divorced first. Some of you guys, they are probably are divorced this person, but they ended up going back to that person even after they divorced them. But it is telling me that, unfortunately, your person, like, holding on to a karmic situation. And it's supposed to be with you. Look. Dang, who they supposed to be with? Family room reversed. This is all about making it right. Justice. To walk away from a family situation. Okay, let's keep it moving. What else spirit in this situation? But somebody gonna have some... Your person got a lot of... um, they, Like, they in their mind a lot. Put it like that. They in their mind a lot. And it's crazy because the person that they probably was dealing with, they was, basically your person was manipulated by a baby mom or a baby dad. You know what I'm saying? And this is somebody they have already used to get into it with, Leo. But just know your person is going to take action. They are manifesting you back. Some of you guys, this person is literally like stepping their game up in regards of their finances, Leo. You know, but um, I just felt like... You the one that they want. You the one that they desire. You the one that they want to be next to. Because I feel like you are the more mature one on the outside of the situation. We got palm trees. So we're going to leave it there. That's all about holding on to you. Stability. Yes. Some of you guys could be pretty much focusing on your stability. Your stability is growing. Like literally. If you have a career, a business or something, it's growing, Leo. It definitely is. But it's telling me that somebody is being set up to... Not set up in a bad way, set for marriage um, later down the line. Somebody will be, whether it's with this person or another person. But it's telling me that some of y'all are pretty much focusing on growing and, you know, y'all finances getting, you know, growing and stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, they holding on to the desire of wanting you. They miss. They they feel like they are having fun. They have fun with you. They have, they enjoy your company, Leo. Like literally. Ooh, didn't I say that? Expect this person to reach out to you. I told you they're going to eventually come back. Because they cannot stop. I'm here fiending for you. And this is in a good way, fiending for you. You know what I'm saying? That desire, it makes them love you even more, Leo. Because they haven't spoke to you. They haven't heard from you. Some of you guys, like I said, some of you guys blocked them. And they will find a way to get a hold of you. Maybe they have another phone. You know? The rest of you guys, they could be um, switching phones or something. Or... They could be popping up, but just know that y'all about to hear from this person. Y'all about to hear from this person for real. Look, things about to change. Things are about to y'all. Some of y'all probably manifested this person back. Some of y'all, not everybody, because like I said, even if you didn't manifest this person back, you probably manifested your soulmate, but you didn't know that this was your soulmate. Some of y'all knew that this person was your soulmate, your other half. The rest of you guys. You know, you didn't know. It's like you knew, but you didn't know. Like you had your doubts because they were so manipulative in the past. You see what I'm saying? And that's probably why you had your doubts, you know. And I don't blame y'all. But it is telling me that some of y'all, I'm going to be real with y'all. Y'all unintentionally manifested this person back in your life. Literally. I, probably both of y'all manifested each other. Missing you. Taking, yes. I feel like you was missing them at one point in time too. Some of y'all. But it is telling me that this is, y'all manifested each other. I don't know how you did it, but some of y'all mistakenly manifested your ex back. You know, especially if you're somebody that fell out of love and you really didn't want them, but you do have like a genuine love for them. You see what I'm saying? Maybe you're not in love with them, but you have love for them. You know what I'm saying? That's the energy that I'm picking up on. I feel like there is some form of back and forth energy between y'all in regards of how y'all feel about each other. You know, because... I just feel like it's the way they was moving previously before when you were in their life. It just didn't sit well with you. You know, you was fine to, go, you know, be without them. So that is a good thing. That's how you notice your soulmate because if you are somebody that's okay to be without this person, you know what I'm saying, and you don't care, like, and you get comfortable being without this person, I'm telling you, it makes this person love you even more, Leo. Like, literally. We got cut in time. So somebody could be getting cut in time with another woman. I'm 
telling you, this person feels like you. they can make magic with you. They can make power moves with you. This person wants to literally step their game up. Some of y'all person want to come together with you and start a business. Maybe y'all even talked about starting a business um, before, but trust me. Somebody is cutting ties with somebody that is very um, controlling, very manipulative, and your person is about to take control over this situation and come towards you, Leo. So expect this person to, to reach out to you. Even though some of y'all may be in this disciplined energy when they reach out to you and a little bit guard, guard, um, guarded, but just know that this person is here to stand on business. Like this person is coming in to, this is a serious energy. This is somebody that's not going to play these games with you, Leo. This person is serious, dead set serious about this about you. I don't see no manipulative energy. Even Like I said, even if you felt like this person was manipulating you or whatever, no. I just feel like your person is, is, is coming back to take some stress off of you. You know, anything that was like manipulative from them in the past towards you, listen, they about to make things a lot more easier. This, I'm telling y'all, y'all, a lot of my Leos are experiencing a lot of change when it comes to past people. And it's all up to y'all to make y'all, you know, use discernment with these people because some people don't have good intentions and some people do have good intentions. It is Y'all just have to work with y'all differences, you know what I'm saying? And come to some form of understanding in order for y'all to come together, you know? But it is what it is. Okay, what else? I just want to know if this is really your person. I feel like it is. Wow, it is. That's the crazy part, but that's all I kept thinking in the back of my mind. Is this really your person? Because I don't see any bad energy in here. I really don't. But, yes, this is somebody that is very much a soulmate to you. A, they are so, this person literally, they can't leave you alone, Leo. They can't. They can't. This is somebody that they want to make it right with you. Didn't I say some of y'all's person have something that they really desire to, to do with you? Like a um a passion, like a project that they want to do with you. Especially if y'all talked about making money in the past. Talked about starting some form of a project, a business, or something like that. But they do desire to come together with you, Leo. And I'm here enjoying um and be a power couple. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. A power couple. That's exactly what I see. So this could just be pretty much your soulmate, Leo. Some of you guys are fire sign. Some of you guys, it's a Gemini. Some of you guys, it could be an Aquarius, an Aries, a Libra, or a Taurus. I am seeing those energies. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo. I hope it resonates with you guys. And y'all take care.